Hello everyone. Germany is a country which is a dream for many people. Being the economic powerhouse of Europe, it has a lot to offer to the immigrants. When I posted the comparison video between Germany and Canada, many people wanted me to make a detailed video on the job seeker visa. It is a great way to immigrate to Germany, but unfortunately, not many people know about it. But that was history because in this video, we are going to talk in detail about the job seeker visa. You'll get to know about the overview, you'll get to know about the eligibility criteria, you'll get to know about the process, the benefits, the fees, how much time would it actually take. We will talk about all of these things in this one video. So I'm pretty sure this video is going to be very helpful. If you're interested, stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'm Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly make videos to help you dream and settle abroad. If you're interested in immigrating to Canada, you can join the Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group and also you can follow me on Instagram. My ID is Dreamers Abroad. It's all about fun and my life here in Canada. Germany is a rich and prosperous country for sure. Its GDP is more than $4 trillion dollars which is actually fourth in the world. So you can say in a way that it's the fourth richest country of the world. And why I'm telling you this? Because this certainly means that they would have more jobs in their country. And to fulfill all of those jobs, they need skilled people, which they don't have in enough numbers in their country. And hence the government of Germany launched this job seeker visa program. So people from around the world can actually get this visa, find the job and start working in Germany. The citizens of European Union and countries like US, Canada, UK, Australia, Japan don't need this visa. But if you're from India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Dubai, any African country or any other place in the world, you would actually need a job seeker visa in order to find the job in Germany. This visa is valid for six months, so you would get this golden opportunity you have six months time, you can go to Germany and find jobs. So once you've found a job, then you can apply for the work visa. Then only you'd be able to work. You can't work on this job seeker visa. Finding the work permit is just a formality if you have the job offer with you. So yes, this job seeker visa is a unique opportunity that Germany offers to people from around the world. You can go there, stay there for six months of time and find a job. Now, of course, not everyone would be eligible. There are some eligibility requirements and you need to fulfill those eligibility requirements in order to get this visa. Let's discuss about those requirements first. When we talk of the eligibility criteria, there are primarily four different uh, criteria or requirements, I should rather say. First of all, it's about the education. So all those people who have any kind of vocational training, uh, let's say you have a vocational training of a plumber, of a welder, of uh, a carpenter, you all can apply for this uh, job seeker visa, uh, but you would need a B1 level in German language. But if you have a bachelor's or the master's degree, the German test is not required. You need not prove that your German is good. But yes, I would definitely suggest in order to get a job in Germany, you should definitely know German language. It would increase your chance of getting the job by 40 to 50 percent if you know German language very well. But yes, just in order to be eligible, if you have a bachelor's or master's degree, then it is not required. And if you have any vocational training, then B1 level in German is required. Of course, if Germany wants skilled labor, then they would want that people should have some work experience. So five year of work experience is required. And then after that, another very important point here is about the money the saving that you have because the German government doesn't want that you go there and start sleeping on the streets or anyhow become dependent on the government itself. So you should have a good amount of money in your account. How much money? I would say you should have at least 6,000 euros in your account in order to prove that you can, in order to prove that you can take care of yourself even if you don't get any job in the first six months. Then the last point is also very important, which is about the travel insurance and your health insurance for your period of stay. So mind it, not just travel insurance, but also 
the health insurance for the complete period of time for the six months is required. Okay, so these are the basic eligibility criteria. But how should you apply? What is the process? We'll discuss about the step by step process. But before that, let me take a moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative people offering thousands of inspiring classes on topics including design, photography, web development, marketing, animation, and the classes on so many other topics as well. Being a YouTuber, it's very important for me to learn good editing and I've been doing so by the classes given by Ali Abdul, one of my favorite YouTubers. Not just that, I've been using this platform to improve my productivity as well because doing a job and doing YouTube at the same time is certainly not easy. So I've also been taking classes again from Ali Abdul. He's got some great lessons on productivity, especially for creators. So this has been really helpful for me. I'll provide a link in the description box below. The first thousand subscribers to click on that link will get a free trial to Skillshare Premium Membership so that you can try it for free and explore your creativity. Okay, now the step-by-step -step process. I'm sure you'd be interested to know the steps, how you can actually apply for this visa. So first of all, obviously you should check if you're eligible or not. If you are eligible, then you can go on to collect those documents. Those documents are very important. And of course, there are certain forms that you need to fill. It is a manual and paper based applications. So you need to fill all of those forms manually on the paper and collect all of those documents. So of course, you would need a passport, three photographs. You would also need the proof of the travel insurance that we discussed earlier, proof of financial sources, that is your bank statement or something like that. Now here you would also need a CV, also a cover letter as well, where you'll explain everything. What is the exact purpose of you going to Germany and for how long you're going to stay there and what are your plans? Then your proof of academic qualifications also needed. Also you can check if the proof of accommodation is required because they certainly don't want that you go on and sleep on streets. So you should have a proof of accommodation where you're going to stay in Germany. Okay, so once you've gathered all of those documents, then you should book the appointment. Uh, appointment might be one month from now or two months, uh, depending on the visa office. So some cities might have the VFS office and some other cities might have the embassies. So it depends from one city to the other. You, you can check that for your city. And you're booking the appointment for your interview. So on the day of your appointment there would be a short interview where the interviewer will ask you about your plans what are you going to do in germany they'll check all your documents and of course the last step is paying the fee which is just 75 euros the fee is very less and these are the four major steps that are involved in getting your job seeker visa after that you only have to wait now the processing times might differ from one country to the other especially during covid times the processing times might be even from one month to three months. So be prepared for that, but make sure you don't make any mistakes in your documents and the forms. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please click the subscribe button. If you have any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. And yes, do not forget to like this video and share it with your friends as well. Thanks again for watching this video.